right, what you are looking at is a homemade grease trap made out of a five gallon bucket from Home Depot. This is a grease trap that you can install for a kitchen sink on a retreat property, a bug out location, your vacation home, stuff hits the fan cabin, a cabin in the woods, a, a hunting cabin, a mother-in-law suite, you're turning a garage into a little apartment, whatever, this is a grease trap. Now, the reason, only reason you would even need this is because you have a gray water, not black water, a gray water system that releases on top of the ground. <clears throat> So let me explain it to you how I did it. All right, I took a, these, this is all schedule 40, two inch. Every bit of it's two inch. Let me tell you the parts. Of course, that's a pipe. This is a sanitary T. Sanitary T. This is a long sweep 90. A long sweep 90. And another long sweep 90. Go in the opposite direction or the other direction. Um, this is a two inch hole saw, two inch hole saw. So what I did, let me tell you this real quick. I made a video of me making this and it took, the video was going way too long. I didn't have time to explain everything thoroughly cause I was trying to rush through it. So I just went on ahead and made it, deleted the video and I'm making this one anyway. So. Here's what I did. I got my hole saws close to the top, not all the way, left about a three eighths to a half inch from the top and drilled my, uh, drilled my hole for my inlet pipe. Stuff is coming off of the, stuff hits the fan cabin, the retreat cabin, and it's coming from the kitchen sink and going in to the grease trap. So, I drilled my hole as close as I could to the top. Now that's the inlet. Now here's the exit. Here's the exit. This is where everything exits out. All right, so I dropped my hole saw down, two inch hole saw. I dropped it down about an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch, drop it down and drill you a hole. It's very important that the inlet hole is higher than the outlet hole okay so what I did was I got my sanitary tea that's what this is that's what this is right here sanitary tea so what I did was I attached me I got me a two three inch it doesn't matter how long it is piece glued it in there and put it in let that piece this stopped here, and then my uh, two inch pipe extended out. This extended out right here. So I was able to put my, glue my 90 uh, long sweep on there, and then glue my other one onto that one. <clears throat> you make it short, you make that little pipe short, and it kind of holds it all together. All right, now let me tell you what else I did. I caught outside I haven't caulked inside on this one yet I will but it's very important that you caulk around that pipe because you don't want water getting out right there it wouldn't matter so much if this thing is totally buried but if it's up above the ground you want to caulk you want to get caulking on your finger and wipe underneath there real good if you can't get that caulking gun underneath there just put some on your finger Wipe up under there real good. Now, if you can use silicone or latex caulk, whatever, I prefer silicone. All I had was latex caulk, so I put it on there. All right, let me explain to you how this thing works. Now, you see how I made it. Very simple. Now, I got me in a, an extension, probably, uh, oh, I don't know, two inches or so. And I extended my sanitary tea now look how look how i got the sanitary tea don't don't do that put it like this and i ex got me a little extension to put on the bottom about two inches reason why let, let me explain this to you everything's coming in 
from the bug out location. It's coming into the pipe. Now this will fill up. Now this will be full of water. As soon as you start using it, it'll be full right to the bottom of this pipe. That's where the water level will be, right to the bottom of this pipe going out. This pipe is higher than this pipe, remember? Three quarters of an inch higher or an inch, whatever. All right, so the retreat property, we're using the kitchen sink. Stuff is coming in. Of course, the grease will float on top. The solids will go down to the bottom. Now, at first, the solids will kind of float on top, but they eventually sink. The grease floats on top, and it'll be about right, right here. Well, let me see. The grease will be about right here. That will be, the water level will be roughly about right here all the time. Every time a drop comes in from this pipe, a drop goes out of that pipe. That's because this pipe is lower than this pipe, huh? Common sense. Water level about here. So grease will float and stay right here all the time. And eventually it'll just keep building up and building up. This sanitary tea blocks the grease from going out, out of the pipe. Now the solids will build up in the bottom. So I put this extension here because it's about halfway from the bottom of the pipe to the top of the, or from the bottom of the bucket. This pipe, this extension, Right here is about halfway between the bottom of the bucket to the top of the bucket. Okay, so solids fill up on the bottom, grease stays up on top, clean water in this area comes up through this pipe right here. I don't know if you can see that. Comes up through this pipe, up, up, and then flows out just like that. Boom, boom now. Your exit pipe where it ends up that determines on what you want it can you can make you a flower bed here whatever let it flow up right there you can put it 70 100 feet away it just does not matter that's up to you now if you have we're going to talk about where to set this bucket you want to set it close to your house close to your cabin now how high this bucket sits, if it sits under the ground or above the ground, determines the grade of your property. If it slopes away from the house, you can bury it up totally underground. If it does not, then what you need to do is that'll determine if your ground is pretty flat, then raise it up out of the uh, hole a little bit, dig your hole. See how we got it here? Dig your hole, but raise it up a little bit. That way you have flow from this exit pipe. You have good flow. That means the exit pipe is higher than where the pipe ends up and the water is released. So this has to be higher than the end of your release pipe. It has to be higher than the end of this pipe. That's just common sense. You want it higher, so you want flow. Now, a quarter inch per foot is code, but you're not worried about code if you're installing this. You either don't have a code for it or you're bypassing the code. So it doesn't have to actually be a quarter inch per foot. If you have it 70 foot long, a couple of inches, a couple of inches, if this end is a couple of inches higher than the actual end of the pipe, then you'll still have decent flow. Anyway, I think I've explained it pretty well. Let's see, let's get, this will be our lid. Now, this lid here, when you put this on, you wanna always make sure that this is not touching your lid, that you have a, at least a little bit of space between the two because you want air. You want air to be able to flow. So that'll be it. Now, if you have it above the ground, then what you're going to want to do is plant bushes around it or you can build you a pressure treated box to stick on it and stick a planter a, a, a planter on there whatever that's up to you there's a billion different ways to decorate around it or to cover it up a fake one of those fake rocks you can use one of those anyway that's it now once a year you'll want to uncover it if it's buried 
or if there's something on top of it you want to take it off take the lid off and you will want to uh, scoop it out get the grease off of the top scoop out the stuff out of the bottom or just take a shop vac and suck it off of course grid down situation you'll have to scoop it out with something but that's it this is for a gray water system that flows on top of the of the ground that flows on top of the ground you don't need this if you have a septic tank system a, a full-blown septic tank proper septic tank system you won't need this this is for a retreat property something that you're not going to have a full septic system in works good though now you don't want you don't now you'll catch all your food particles and all your grease and them are the things that you do not want out in your yard or in the woods or anywhere near where you're staying you don't want that because it tra it attracts rodents gnats in the middle of the summer it attracts gnats and flies so you don't want that that's why you want this as you want to avoid all that it, it, that uh, believe me i know you want to avoid all that this will clean that water and just let mostly clean water out there that will not attract so many bugs, so many flies and gnats, rodents and possums and raccoons. I think that's it. I think I covered everything if I didn't know well. Uh, like I say, this is for a gray water system that we'll be releasing on top of the ground. And you can run this pipe out as long as you need it. Uh, you'll raise this up according to the slope, the grade of your property. Uh, it's easy to decorate around and cover up. Anyway, hey, I guess we'll see you on the next one. Hey, I will be doing a video of a septic, a, a septic system for a toilet. Toilet only. Toilet only septic system made out of 50 gallon drums. The drain fields. And the septic tank itself will be made out of 50 gallon drums. I'll be making that video probably within a month. And we'll see. You. Make sure you caulk around this stuff. Put caulking on your finger and wipe up under everything real good. We'll see you on the next one. Grease trap for your retreat. For your retreat property. We'll see you.